Ayani Chandrasita. I am the communications intern at the Aspen Network of Development Entrepreneurs. Uh, so we are an, a non-profit organization that supports uh, organizations that support entrepreneurship. So we're talking people like investors, accelerators, um, incubators and also academic institutions and so we offer like opportunities for them to network, offer peer-to-peer -peer sharing, offer workshops and any sort of opportunity to help them grow their knowledge on how to like support entrepreneurs. Uh, so um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. since you are a non-profit organization, what mm. is your uh, type of entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur, the type of entrepreneur that you support. Can you just tell me? Type of entrepreneur. So we don't directly support entrepreneurs nor startups, but we work with other organisations that do. So we work with other organisations that can possibly offer funding or possibly offer like direct support, so like accelerate the um, business. Okay. So you don't uh, work with micro, small, and medium enterprises? Uh, not directly, no. Okay. Not directly, no. But uh, we offer like an ecosystem for the other organisations to do the come together so that we can like tell these organizations like hey this is what you need to do to support the um, other organizations better. Okay, so which are the uh, countries that you are operating from? Um, so our chapter for the East and Southeast Asia chapter is located in Bangkok, Thailand but we are actually a global team so we've got our headquarters in DC we've also got a, a chapter in India, in East Africa also in the Indian region so in Latin America as well. Okay, okay. So you help the startup uh, in terms of getting it incubated, getting it funded and getting uh, global market access, right? Yeah, that's right, that's okay. right. So what, how do you think that, uh, uh, what kinds of challenges that you're facing it? Um, so basically, I think it's it's de definitely outreach because when people hear that we're non-profit, um, it's sort of like, sometimes they, they are suspicious of it or like they don't really understand what the work that we do so that they're like hesitant but there are a lot of like really good benefits uh, so obviously you get like ecosystem and you get to learn from um, other like other organizations in the same field that also support other entrepreneurs and I think also like the other challenge is that people don't understand how like entrepreneurship is helpful or why it is but it is actually like the key in many developing countries to lifting them out of like poverty yeah so uh, what are the other activity that you do to promote sustainability uh, to promote sustainability so we uh, actually have like some of our missions to uh, to sort of like deal with the SDGs so like some of like the sustainable development goals so the ones that we are currently focusing on like are gender equality and also like climate climate change and sustainability so recently we've organized uh, a few online workshops uh, to to like sort of make suggestions or make recommendations on how people can make their uh, businesses more inclusive uh, so that's whether that's like altering their selection criteria to include more women entrepreneurs or to um, create a workplace where women and men feel supported and they can have a conversation and also they we've also like organized uh, in partnership with um, another organization uh, like a workshop where we can come up with strategies to reduce like single waste plastics um, in Bangkok. Okay. So what is your uh, plan for the next five years? Oh, for the next five years? <laughs> uh, that's a really big question. I think just carrying on like getting new members and really just communicating to them how important entrepreneurship is at like lifting um, certain countries out of poverty and what is your uh, flagship event if you talk about some Sorry? of your some of your flagship event um, like some of your prominent or the uh, uh, top most uh, event I should okay say. right I see event. I see what you mean um, so it is we've got a metrics conference in November in Bangkok Thailand so is we're like we've we're like currently organizing it and we've sent all like the comms out for it and also we confirmed the venue but what it is is it's like a conference that um lets us like measure uh gives like advice on how to like measure impact uh it's also about measure measuring impact and see like how your business can like impact like impact a large audience yeah
yeah so we've invited like um, we're currently like getting like submission ideas and also like finding people to come speak at our conference so that's like happening very soon thank you so much nice to meet you